impala. In this species, only the males have S-shaped horns that are up to 91 centimeters long. These horns are heavily ridged, thin, and the tips lie far apart. Both sexes are similarly coloured with red-brown hair which pales on the sides. The underside of the belly, chin, lips, inside ears, the line over the eyes and tail are all white. There are black stripes down the tail, forehead, both thighs and the ear tips. These black stripes might aid in recognition between individuals. Impala have scent glands on their rear feet, beneath patches of black hair, as well as sebaceous glands on the forehead. Note the characteristic M marking on its rear, which gives it the popular name McDonald's of the bush. The impala is preyed upon by most of the large carnivores and the young often fall prey to pythons. Should one of them spot danger, it will snort an alarm and the whole herd will scatter. It is one of the treats offered by nature to see this antelope perform their incredible 3 meter high and 12 meter long leaps. are diurnal and spend the night ruminating and laying down. The peak activity times for social activity and herd movement are shortly after dawn and before dusk. At midday they can be typically found resting in the shade of a tree, panting or licking themselves, which effectively cools the animal down, but means that it also loses water. Impala have different social structures depending on the season. Females and males live in separate clans, and during the wet season, the ranges are heavily defended. But during the dry season, Males can be found together or mixed with female herds. During the breeding season, March through May, the male keeps a much smaller territory which is heavily defended. Mature males will lead any female herds that wander into their territory. Males test the female's urine to detect oestrus. The gestation period is just over six and a half months. The female impalas isolate themselves before calving. Calving usually occurs in the midday at the beginning of the rainy season. Usually there is only one calf mother and calf will rejoin the herd after one to two days. Impala are intermediate feeders. While predominantly a grazer, the impala will adapt to any amount of grass or browse. Impala feed mostly on grass during times of lush growth following the rains and will switch to browse during the dry season. One can be mistaken as to believe impala are the only antelope in the park. So common and widespread are they. Impala are dependent on water and a herd is normally an indicator of water close by.
This adaptability allows the impala a greater range of habitats, from savanna to scrub forest, 